In our last episode, I spent three days exploring the magical sites of Staniel Key and the surrounding islands. Join us this week as we cruise 113 nautical miles to Nassau to the Atlantis Resort and Marina. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities in the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Well, good morning. Today is our final day at uh, Staniel Key. We're leaving for Atlantis and on Nassau. And, uh, you know, all I can tell you about Samuel is the water in the Exumas is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, I can't wait to bring Scott back here. I did get to see the piggies last night. Um, <clears throat> just so you know, right now I'm currently, you can hear, see that I have power, but we've had power. It'll shut off here in about five minutes. So the power here on the island can go off for hours. See, I <laughs> just told you. So that's been really difficult. And here you can't shower when there's no power. You can't use the toilets, at least in these little cottages. Um, and it is just extremely buggy. I don't know if you can see. Well, yeah, you'll we'll see, but I have over 50 bites. I'm slathered in bug spray and it still didn't work. So I do caution, you know, this would be my one caution is um, it's, it's, its own island. It's a private island. They have very limited resources. They don't have big, huge convenience stores or supermarkets. So if you do, here comes the power again. <laughs> so if you, you know, don't expect the, the lap of luxury when you come here. <clears throat> but you don't come here for that. You come here for the water. And the water is just unbelievable. Like, I can't even... I don't know if the videos I took are even going to describe it. So I can't wait to bring Scott back here. I'll find a different kind of bug spray, I think. Because that's really the only thing that's that's bothered me. The power, well, the power is what it is. So, and if you have your boat, when you bring your boat here, you're on a generator anyways, assuming you have a generator, which I don't think you would cruise without one. So for that, that's not been a huge, uh, a huge issue for everyone. So. Off to Atlantis, it's about a three hour uh, tour, believe it or not, three hour ride, 75 nautical miles. So um, hopefully we make good time and the weather has just been awesome. So I can't complain about that. We are leaving Staniel. The trip to Nassau took us about three and a half hours cruising at about 34 knots. We entered Nassau from the southern end of the channel. Most boats do not go this way due to the shallow bombies or large reefs just under the water. But our captain was very experienced and he knew the safe route to take. I moved here. Nicely done, Captain. So we are here. We have arrived to Atlantis. Beautiful marina. Just going to the office now to pay. 
and uh, get them set up. This is where the big guys are. <laughs> this is the dinghy duck. Wow, so I uh, just arrived to the Atlantis. I'm staying in the Coral. Uh, there's a number of hotels within this complex. This is a giant, giant, giant place. Uh, Obi down at the marina was so hospitable, brought me up here with uh, my bags because my back is out. So I just checked in and it is a very nice room. Let me give you a quick tour. Uh, the bathroom, very nice, big counter. Vanity. Zoom out a little here. And then they do have a safe. It's the first time I've seen a safe and ironing board. A little coffee area here, which is very nice. And this is the room. And they give you these water bottles because you can fill them uh, with water on the sixth, I think ninth and twelfth floors. And so they give you those waters for free. A little sitting area. I'll get my desk set up. A little lounge area. A little patio. And my view. I cannot complain. This is gorgeous. This is a nice uh, treat. Well good morning. Um, so today I'm at the Atlantis Resort, and I got all my work done, so I am going to actually go check out the aquarium, the dig, this is all kinds of things, sea stingrays, I'm just going to kind of go explore, see what they have for marine life here, um, maybe, hopefully it's all for educational purposes, because you know how I feel about animals in captivity, but I'll kind of get a little more feel for it, and I'll take you along, and uh, share with you what I discover. Let's see. Atlantis Paradise Island is home to the largest open air marine habitat in the world, encompassing 14 lagoons, 8 million gallons of ocean water, and more than 50,000 aquatic animals. Atlantis has a team of 165 marine experts that care for, rescue, and rehabilitate over 250 marine species. A portion of Atlantis Marine Interactive Programs goes back to the Atlantis Blue Project Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to saving sea species. Now we're running to you, you look just me. Well, I'm gonna go find the pool, relax. Let's see, I'm gonna go this way, she said. Looks like you can go swimming with these things. Once I found the pool, I spent the next few hours relaxing and reading a book. I was so relaxed that I completely forgot to film it. Yeah. We are now leaving Atlantis. And we are headed to back to Bimini for one more night, staying at Mega yeah, Marina. And let's see how the seas are. They could be a little rough today and tomorrow. So. So right before you go into the bridge is where the fuel dock is. And just squeezed in between that cat and Brian's boat. Okay, we're headed to Bimini. When we came here, we came from that direction, and now this time we're going to go to the north end of the island and out there and then to Germany. It should be 121 nautical miles.
this is the cruise ship back. As we cruised to each island, I spent most of my time up on the flybridge or the cockpit, enjoying the moment and the experience. Just six months ago, we were living in cold, wet weather in the Pacific Northwest. Who would have ever imagined that I would soon be cruising the crystal clear turquoise waters in the Bahamas for my job? There's something therapeutic about being on the water with nothing else around you. I certainly did not take this moment for granted. So beautiful here, entering entrance to Bimini. Assume it's going to be right by the uh, sexy fish. We only want Sun Seeker. Come back to the Mega Marina. Mega Marina. This is the 74 Sun Seeker. Yeah, prepare yourself. Uh, stop it tight for me. Stop it tight, and just stand by for about five minutes. Let me get the sexy fish tied up, and I'll be there to Roger that. Are we on that same dock where sexy fish is, along with that 76 Sun Seeker ghost? That's right, Roger. You gotta go two slips port of ghosts. Two slips down on the port side of ghosts. All right, good copy. We're rigging lines now. Yeah, no rush. Take your time. Just let me get sexy fish together. Uh, and I'll call uh, you. Yeah, come on in. We'll do the starboard side to that. We hosted our final cocktail party at the Healing Hole Bar at Fisherman's Marina and the staff at the Hilton did a fantastic job. It was a great ending to an epic journey. Good morning. So it is my final day here in the Bahamas. Uh, we are in Bimini. We are back at this VRBO, and this is kind of a little, showed you earlier in the week, um, kind of a complex. It's ran by the resort world. <clears throat> so nice little VRBO. Uh, we leave at eight o'clock sharp today. The winds are supposed to pick up pretty drastically and you can see it's really pretty breezy already um, so it should take us about two hours to get to Fort Lauderdale and we'll have Scott meet us as we go through the new river and this journey will be over so uh, definitely epic definitely long um, I don't think all my footage is going to do it justice which gives us the reason to come back again so I hope you enjoyed these segments uh, of the trip to Bimini, Chubb, Staniel, and Nassau. So if you're new to this channel, thank you for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to leave your comments down below and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Thanks everyone. We are headed home straight that way. Back to Florida.